Hello, I'm Ty McCleary. Since 2003, Igenity has worked with countless cattle breed associations and seed stock and commercial cattlemen around the world to use the latest DNA technology to increase herd profitability. Igenity has used the latest scientific advancements developed in the laboratory to advance many aspects of the science of livestock production in the field, including such critical elements as selecting the best bulls and replacement heifers for the next calf crop. Yet with all the success Igenity has had, many cattlemen they meet remain unfamiliar with how DNA-based technology can help increase herd profitability, what is done at the ranch level to perform DNA testing, what type of test results they can expect, and importantly, what those results can mean to their day-to-day -day operations. So today, I would like to take a few minutes to answer those questions for you. If this presentation leaves a question or two unanswered, please feel free to contact Igenity at any time. In a nutshell, what Igenity does is improve upon EPDs, or expected progeny differences. With genetic testing, EPDs are basically an estimate of an animal's genetic merit and are good tools to use to compare the genetic potential of animals of the same breed. A calf's EPD is based on its own performance, as well as its sire and dam and members of its close family. Adding Igenity's genetic testing to an animal's EPD creates an improved genomic enhanced EPD. Let me explain with a seed stock example. Seed stock producers publish the EPDs of their bulls in their sale catalogs so their commercial customers know exactly what they are buying from them. That information is really useful, but bulls that are full brothers with the same sire and dam can look very similar, yet have a very different genetic potential. Igenity's DNA test adds information about an animal's true genetic merit. Plus, from that single sample, you can get a horn pole test, a coat color, or homozygous black test, and parentage done for registration purposes. Studies have shown that a simple hair sample provides the same accuracy of prediction on a bull's EPD as would evaluating up to eight of his progeny. Just imagine, DNA from tail hair provides the same EPD accuracy as growing the bulls to weaning, feeding him over the winter, taking an ultrasound, breeding him to heifers, growing their calves, and capturing the carcass data. That's three years and thousands of dollars of feed cost not to mention the cost of allowing an inferior bull to breed three different calf crops. Anything you can do to reduce the risk of making a mistake with a bull is worth it. An analysis done at Kansas State University looked at the impact of always selecting bulls with a superior DNA profile and what impact that has on the overall genetic merit of the herd versus selecting inferior bulls by chance. The impact multiplies pretty quickly in the herd. Igenity offers a similar benefit when selecting replacement heifers. For about $20, the Igenity Heifer Replacement Program uses hair follicles to produce DNA test results that provide information on a heifer's potential in five key traits. Those traits are calving ease, fertility or stability, average daily gain, carcass marbling, and carcass tenderness. Igenity has a slightly more efficient option that gives all of those traits and also scores for yield grade, ribeye area, back fat, heifer pregnancy, docility, and feed efficiency or residual feed intake. Here's what Igenity suggests when choosing replacement heifers. Start with a visual appraisal. A good eye can still eliminate many heifers. Heifers should be straight across the top with good bone structure and other phenotypic measurements. Take your pool of available heifers and remove those you don't want based on physical appraisal or if you know something about the dam that you don't like. Then collect DNA samples from those left in the pen. So let's say you call 40% based on phenotypic observation and test the other 60%. You can use the DNA profile results to identify the top heifers from the 60% to keep as replacements. If it's at weaning time, you can keep them in a separate pasture 
and give them a head start with a little extra nutrition. You can sell the remaining heifers. Let me show you what the results look like. The result for each trait is scored one to 10 for each animal. For your breed, breed averages are available to see how those heifers compare to the overall breed average, as well as how they compare to their sisters. Obviously, some trait scores might not be as high as you would like to start with, but as you continue to select each year, they will get better. You can evaluate each animal's results one at a time or use a free simple software program from Igenity to evaluate several animals at a time. Here's an example of what you'll receive in the mail or online. As you can see, each animal has a score and then there's a weighted average on one side. The trait measurements have been determined from the genotypes of thousands of animals. Igenity, along with other groups it works with, have looked for the correlations between bad traits and genetic profile to exclude those animals. Igenity is part of the largest animal genetics laboratory in the U.S. and certainly one of the largest anywhere in the world. They do the DNA testing, including parentage work for Angus, Gelby, Limousine, Charlet, Hereford, Simital, and a number of other key beef breed associations. Let me explain about how the five traits that are part of the replacement heifer program. First of all, maternal calving ease is the likelihood of a particular heifer having an unassisted birth. Since calving ease affects calf survival and the ability of the heifer to cycle and become pregnant again in the next calving season, calving ease is a critical trait. Each point of the Igenity score is equivalent to 1% in unassisted births in a group of heifers. The cost of keeping a heifer for nine months from pregnancy to calving is close to $500. If you lose just one calf, you're out that $500. At $20 a head, you could test 25 heifers and break even with that testing cost if you just culled out one heifer that was going to have difficulty in calving. If that heifer dies calving, you're out the $500 plus the replacement cost of a new heifer, say another $1,200 or even more. Another important trait is stability. The likelihood a heifer will remain in the herd until she's at least six years old compared to the breed average or other heifers you test. In this example, the heifer scored eight as compared to another that scored just three. Each point here equates to about a 2% greater likelihood of that heifer remaining to age six. So the difference between three and eight is five multiplied by two says that this heifer has a 10% greater likelihood to meet your stability goal. With good replacement heifers today costing more than $1,200 a piece, keeping 10 heifers just one more year is worth about $12,000 in saved replacement cost. Hygienity also measures marbling, average daily gain and tenderness, as these traits will make the feeder calves you sell worth more money. Marbling scores relate to the marbling potential in the primal cuts of a fed animal. This score gives us an idea of how much of that marbling potential this heifer will give to her calves or the heifer has herself if you decide to send her to the feedlot. Every one point of Igenity score is worth about 17 points of marbling, meaning it increases the likelihood of her calf grading choice about 7% greater. With the choice select spread at $15 a hundred, a choice carcass is worth over $100 per head more than a select one. If you use DNA testing to improve marbling in your herd and you sell calves, the feedlots you sell will recognize the value of the good reputation of your calves. Tenderness also adds to the value of the carcass of your calves. If you sell your feeder calves right, a good calf can bring an extra five cents per pound. This easily adds another 25 to $30 per head to your check. Average daily gain is the fifth trait that is measured by the Igenity Heifer Selection Program. This is important while the heifer's calf is still at her side in the pasture, and even more important when that calf gets to the feedlot. Soon one calf will outgain another by, say, three-tenths of a pound a day. In 270 days, that is 80 more pounds when you sell the calf. In recent times, those 80 pounds has been worth about $100 per calf. 
To start realizing the benefits of genomic enhanced EPDs, simply contact Igenity to get hair sample collection kits or to use tissue tags that employ an ear tag system. But using tail hair is really pretty simple. All you need to do is use pliers to make it easier to pull a dozen or so strands of hair from the tail switch, but make sure that the hair follicles are still attached. Igenity also has a couple other partners that work the cattle business. The guys over at Animal Health International are very helpful, and there are a lot of them in our area. Also, if you consider selling your cattle through the Superior Livestock Auction Program, those guys are also partners with the Igenity people, and they too can be a big help. Simply contact Igenity to order your sample kits or for more information. Thanks for your time.